No matter if it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, eggs in purgatory is good for any meal. I'm going to show you my quick and easy take on this tasty, tasty dish. Hi everyone, my name is Andy. I am the T-Rex chef and welcome to my kitchen. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, doesn't matter, late night snack. This dish is gonna be something that you're gonna to wanna to make for yourself and for your friends. What are we making? It's gonna be my take on eggs in purgatory. What are eggs in purgatory? Well, I Googled that and what the definition of it was, basically what it is are eggs cooked in a marinara sauce. Marinara sauce represents purgatory, and the eggs represent lost souls. This is not a show about religion, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to get started here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get uh, marinara sauce. Whether you want to use a jarred sauce like I'm using, I'm using Marco Rosso's. It should be in your pantry. It's a very good sauce. Or if you want to use your own, you know, do whatever, make one. Uh, the important thing is that eggs in purgatory do get cooked in marinara sauce. We're also going to put them on um, some nice pieces of French bread that I'm going to toast. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's get our... Always shake the jar. Always shake the jar. Get marinara into our pan. Oh, 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 oh. Little, little, little hot. You're going to want a, a good amount, um, probably around half of the jar in there because these are basically poaching in the marinara or the tomato sauce. And our ingredients are as follows. Eggs, really good bread. Use Italian. I'm using French bread that I got from Farm Fresh Foods where I work. Of course, I'm gonna have a little bit of parsley going in there for some color. Dried ricotta cheese. A little something, something to put on there instead of Parmesan just to mix it up a little bit. This is really good stuff. So let's wait for this come up to a simmer, not a boil, but a simmer. Back of me, I have a cast iron pan heating up and ready to go when I decide to toast up my um, bread. Okay, so you can see, just about to get funky there. So I'm gonna drop my eggs in here, bring them right down, right down. You don't want it boiling too hard or simmering too hard. You just want kind of a lazy... I mean, this is... Oh, a double yoker! Two double yokers! What is going on here today? Take a little time right now. Get some seasoning on these. Some pepper. A little bit of salt. gonna cover this. Some folks throw this in the oven. I like to do it stovetop, doesn't matter. I don't wanna heat up an oven just for these right here. So I'm gonna get these out of the way over a low simmer. All right, now let's talk about toasting our bread. Cast iron skillet, we're just gonna be using, you know, basic French bread. Use Italian bread, whatever you want. Get some butter into the pan. We'll get these browned up. Like our bread is done, let's get these off the heat and onto the plate. All right, let's put all these ingredients together. Big reveal, big reveal. Oh, very nice. Very, very, very nice. this 
first. Get some cheese on the base. Do some dramatic cheese footage here. Thanks. All right. Let's see if I can pull this off. I haven't made these in many, many years. I worked at a restaurant called Gialli's. My buddy Anthony owned a restaurant. He still owns a restaurant. Great restaurant. You should give it a chance sometime if you're here in Jamestown. And uh, on his menu, he wanted uh, eggs and purgatory. Put up eggs and purgatory there. Oh, look at these. Look at these. Look at these. Oh my goodness. So, of course, what am I going to do with this? I'm going to add some boatload of fresh parsley. And actually, I'm going to add some crushed red pepper. Give it some heat. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil, some good stuff. That's it. Eggs in purgatory right there, folks. What's up there? Get a shot of that. Telling you what, breakfast, lunch, dinner. I know for a fact that this is a very good hangover cure for those of you who are old enough to have a hangover. Actually, no one should have hangovers. But um, there you have it, folks. All right, only thing left to do is to give this a try. Do a little dramatic shot here. There you go. Oh, that looks so good. That looks so good. I'm telling you what, I'm telling you what, you've got to try this. It's simple, it's easy. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, doesn't matter. You need to try some of this. My name is Andy, I'm the T-Rex chef. If you like what you've seen, please give us a like. If you really like what you've seen, share it. We need your help. Follow us on Facebook, follow us on YouTube as well. We're also on Instagram. Barry, you're missing out today, buddy. Sorry you can't be here. Barry's back home doing all the hard work, doing the other things. So my name is Andy. I'm the T-Rex Chef. Thank you for joining me once again in my kitchen. Eggs and purgatory, folks. You need to try this. Have a good day. Exactly,